Good morning, I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Today is Wednesday, July 7th. Here's a look at commodities on the market today. Oil is on the decline in early morning trade with equity prices worldwide slipping on fears about the global economic outlook. BP is up before the bell in the New York Stock Exchange as CEO Tony Hayward meets with Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahan to discuss the possibility of the sheikdom buying up to 10% of shares in the company. Gold, too, is taking a beating as the dollar strengthens against the euro, making it more expensive for non-greenback investors to shore up the yellow metal. In addition, the precious metal has been hurt after China's state administration of foreign exchange said that gold will not be a major component of the central bank's portfolio. As of early this morning, Brent crude is up by eight tenths of a percent at $72 a barrel. Light sweet crude is up by seven tenths of a percent at $72.49 a barrel. And natural gas is up by a third of a percent, $4.69 a million British thermal units. Gold is down by a third of a percent, $1,191.50 an ounce. Silver is nine tenths of a percent weaker, $17.70 an ounce, and copper is up by one tenth of a percent, $2.97 a pound. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's regulatory changes announced Tuesday to reduce smog and acid rain may lead some energy companies to shut down some of their power plants. Coal-fueled electricity producers, American Electric Power Company and Southern Company are expected to be hit hard by the reform measures to take effect in 2012. Hercules Offshore Incorporated and Chevron Corporation lifted a force majeure on a shallow water drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico after Chevron received a permit to drill a new well. Exxon Mobil Corporation began evacuating non-essential personnel from offshore Gulf of Mexico facilities ahead of a tropical disturbance. And in the mining sector, Canadian gold mining group Horizon Mines Limited formed a joint venture with Nio Gold Mining Corporation to develop the Marbin Block property in Quebec. Horizon will earn a 50% interest in the project, subject to incurring expenditures totaling 20 million Canadian dollars over the next three years, of which 5 million Canadian dollars will be spent in the first year. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more on commodities, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Trade the Trend. You can also check back to our website for more headlines, tradethetrend.com.